Welcome back to another episode of Scotty Gomez Learn to Be a Pro, season two. As you can see, we're obviously not in my kitchen. We are lucky enough to be at one of the most famous Alaskans' house. She's gonna teach us how to make pavlova. It's uh, ancient cousin of poontang pie, same thing. Anyway, we are gracious enough for her to join us, let us into her house. She's a three-time Olympian from Girdwood, Alaska. We're proud of her, our very own Miss Rosie Fletcher. How's it going? Welcome to the kitchen. Thank you. Beautiful house you got. Thank you. Thanks for, uh, so we're going to make pavlova. Pavlova is a kind of dessert that's super easy um, and super versatile. And that's what our guests do like, something easy. Something super easy. Something easy to make that they can impress people. And that's what we want. So let's go. All right. For pavlova, here's what it is. Figs, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, cornstarch, vanilla. A super fine sugar, six eggs, lavender, mint, and to bring it all home, homemade whipped cream. You can use any kind of whipped cream you want, but in Alaska we like to do things homemade. So the first thing we're going to do is separate the eggs because pavlova is simply egg whites and sugar. So I'm going to have you separate the eggs. Well, before we do that, hold on. Never go into a gunfight. Nice. Ooh, get that apron on. Okay, so I have the cup on the scale just to get an idea how much six egg whites are gonna weigh because eggs are come in all different sizes. So we just wanna make sure it's roughly around a, about 180 grams. Of 180 egg grams. Yeah. So the pressure is on because if any yolk gets in the egg white, we have to toss it because fat will not allow the whites to foam. That is an important thing. You cannot have any yolk in the egg whites. No yolk. No yolk. No fat. There Nothing. So now that we brought eggs from the Scotty Gomez Ranch in Merrill Field, Rosie, what's the best way to crack an egg for the listeners? Because an asshole like me, I usually just go like that. What's the best way? Wait, what do you usually do? I usually just hit it off the, the bowl right here that uh -huh. I'm going to use and then go like that. So to crack an egg, it's best not to use the bowl that the egg's going into because you run the risk of getting shells in there. there so go. just slam it right against Learn the stove. New every day. Here we go. How am I doing? Yeah, you're doing good. And feel free to separate it a little bit. He, he needs room to move around and release know. some of the whites. Yeah. How do we know it's a heat? Can you tell by Nick? Yeah. Oh, I guess. Olympians, they can. I know things like that. All right. Okay, that looks great. Okay, so we place that there. Nice. As you can see, there's no yolk in there. That's the most important thing. You like to say that. Most important thing. No yolk. Here we go. One down, five to go. Okay, so now we have the egg whites. We're going to put it in the mixing bowl. Am I right? Is there yeah. a certain way to pour it or just... Nope, you can just go ahead and put the whites in. And once they're all the way in, you're just gonna turn the mixer on. Okay, so they're in. All right, so now that we got it in, we mix it up, a little heat. Yeah. You can see. Beating that eggs. And so now we're gonna add the sugar. We, are, we have to wait for the egg whites to get foamy though. Okay. So we'll just keep an eye on it. Now you have to turn them up a little bit. All right. There we go. So what's gonna be important about the sugar? is that you add it very slowly um, for two reasons. One, um, if you add it too fast, the egg won't foam. It'll eggs kind won't of, foam. it'll flatten the egg. The other thing is, is that um, you, we want the, the grain, the granular sugar to dissolve. Okay. So, my husband look. Oh yeah, it's foamy. All right, so now that we got it foamy, put the sugar. Yeah. And okay, we don't want to dump, no dump. Kind of Not shape. jump and chase. Just yeah, finesse. Finesse. Use his hands. Did you use class finesse? Like in I did. My game was a finesse kind of game. Oh. I wasn't the rough and tough kind of guy, but you know. So is it like finesse and power? Do you kind of are you either one or? I never even asked that. Oh. I think um, finesse is always just finesse. Yeah. More sugar? Yeah, you should never. So we're gonna use this whole bowl. Oh shit. And this is about. 360 grams of sugar. Okay. See how the finesse is. 
I'm not using my uh, wrist. I'm just using my fingertips. Yeah, no movement in the elbow. Like it's out, yeah. Only fingers. Hard. That's what it takes to make pavlova. There we go. Awesome. Okay, got it. it. So this goes about eight minutes. We'll come back. Is this what stiffness looks like when you're baking a cake? You know what? I think let's turn it off and give it a check. So. Shiny and stiff. See? That is the most important thing. It's got to be shiny and stiff. You see that peak? So now that we have a stiff peak, we're going to add cornstarch. Same thing apply, right? You don't want to dump it in. A little sprinkle. Yeah, a little sprinkle. You want... Let's turn it on first. Oh, yeah. Turn no, it on. Okay. Yeah, just so it's moving right. and distributing the cornstarch. Yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. So the cornstarch adds a little bit of a oomph for the stability and really keep those peaks stiff. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now you can just slowly add the vanilla as well. Slowly add the vanilla. A little flavor. One of the great things about pavlova is it's super versatile. Um, you can really add any flavor. You could add almond extract, lemon extract, orange. Like the flavor part of the pavlova is just the options are in this. Just what kind of mood you're in. What kind of mood what you're kind in. What kind of mood you're in you want your pavlova like that. Yeah. So right. we can turn it up, we'll wait a couple minutes All and right. then we'll be ready. We'll be back. So we'll just take a spatula and you're just gonna wanna um, scoop it out and just plop it right in the center. Okay. You wanna be a little gentle because we just spent a, a bit of time really working um, the egg whites to their beautiful shiny peaks. Gentle. Yeah. yeah. So you can just turn it over. Like that? Yeah. You can just give them a little nudge there. want the shine, I think that's like one of the best indicators of it being ready. The shine? How shiny it is, yeah. yeah. That is shiny. God damn. Is it like, what, so if it's not shiny, do you start over or what do you do? Uh, no, you just keep beating it. Cool. All right. So this step, um, like I said, you want to be gentle. <coughs> Comes in all shapes and sizes. Anything you want. And then, I mean, the options are endless. So you can do like a side peak. So you go around and do side peaks. It's amazing what you can do with this. So I think it's ready to bake. All right. So important um, to turn your oven on to 250 before you start the process so it has enough time to warm up. And this guy's gonna go in the oven at 250 for about 90 minutes, at which point then you turn the oven off and you let it just sit there for a couple hours. Okay, so now that we're back, we have our homemade whipped cream. Rosie's gonna show us how to do it all done. Okay, so as you'll see, um, the pavlova cracked a little bit, and that's totally that's that's totally normal. But I point it out because that means that we're gonna have to be really gentle when we add the whipped cream. Okay. <clears throat> so just maybe kind of just put it in a couple spots so we don't have to do a bunch of spreading. couple spots, couple spots. <laughs> don't pour it all over yet. So really the design and also these ingredients are completely um, up to you. So do you like strawberries? I love strawberries. Okay, so we can just um, start adding strawberries. And it's really just like a free form. Whoa. Uh, right, do you like raspberries? I love okay. raspberries. It is a beautiful sight. It really is. 
Blackberries? Yes. Okay. Now most people aren't gonna have fresh ingredients from our gardens, yeah, like this, but that's fine. Yeah, well, We're I was just gonna say in the winter time, um, there are countries such as New Zealand and Australia who serve this at Christmas. So um, one of the things we could do during the winter um, is use like a rhubarb stew, uh, any type of jam, some um, dried herbs would be really lovely. So that is true. This is a Christmas dish. Like you said, you see, you if you're do? a world traveler, you can, I mean, you can make this, you can bring this to any Christmas party. People are going to be impressed. Your, what does your mom prepare for Christmas? Um, for Christmas, my mom prepares a Safeway pumpkin pie with, uh, no. with the fake whipped cream. No. And as kids, we used to do the whippets. If you're young enough, don't listen to that. But anyway. So, we're kind of just finishing up here. You definitely don't want to overdo it. Um, we get still have our currants. Um, maybe just put them on the outside. These are beautiful little guys. You, at the end of the day, you did say you just gotta have fun with it. Yeah, No definitely. one's gonna complain. This, I mean, oh. this is this is from the heart. This is just, I mean, it's a beautiful thing right here. Yeah, thank you. Um, so what do we have left? Oh, we can add, add some. Um, you know, look at these cute little mints. We can just put the tops right there. Um, I just like to use these tops. So this is an Olympic medalist that is teaching us how to do this. Lavender. Been in more pressure situations than I've ever had. I played on a team. If I wasn't on, other guys could pick up the stack. You were all by yourself. So it's the same as bacon. What really? do you think? That is, um, it's probably one of the best things we ever had on the Scotty Gomez Learn to Be a Pro. Well, what do you, does it need anything else? What do you think? Maybe just a little positive vibe. Because I guess that's how we're supposed to bake. Yeah. But as Alaskan and everyone else, it doesn't get any better than this. So like we like to say, the Scotty Gomez learned to be a pro. As long as you learn something. Thank you to sweet Rosie Fletcher, one of Alaska's finest. We'll see you next time.